So this has been one hell of a ride, boys and girls. This is the first time we've ever gone in on a Soul Awakening session, and sadly, we did come in 12th. And there's a reason for that, too. There's a name on our hero here. Uh, and that's because, well, people just went insane, and even though we had the starry gems to keep up, what we didn't have was the sheer number of hero copies that were required. And I just want to look at one thing. They literally did 50% more awakenings than us to get to this point. Now, the sad part is... Top 20 is where we needed to get to, and at that point, we wasted a lot of Starry Gems. You remember we had that A-plus Aspen and that A-minus Aspen? Well, we turned those into contract Starry Gems, and we did Awakenings to try to keep up until we realized, yeah, Hero Copies was going to be an issue. We only had about, what, uh, 12, probably in total, like 1,500 additional Hero Copies, and if you really want to do the math on it too, like 1500, you multiply that, even if you're like on a good day getting six average, that's still only 9,000 points. And we were already to the point where we're like, we are going to fall behind. Now, we could have done all of that potentially and burned what? A ton of extra awakenings, holy, or a ton of extra resource, like over 100,000 more starry gems. And we still might not have pushed hard enough and we would have got to the point where we would have lost copies so we kind of just cut our losses and said sure gee and i just i did not expect this because to put it into perspective this is the chart that aku demon puts together all the time which is awesome he tracks essentially all the soul awakening sessions and ranks them our 20,000 points would have pretty much put us in the top six of almost any other event. And it would have been like close to an S tier here the previous time. The last one, it would have been definitely an S tier. I mean, top 10 was only 14,000. That's why I'm like, there's no way we don't get top 10. And then people go and do stupid stuff like this. Like legit, this right here is past events SSS rank one copy. I'm like, how do we compete with that? That's so many starry gems. That is a ridiculous amount of starry gems. And if you really want to break down what first place went through, holy cow. First place, 55157. Even being generous here, divide it by six points on average, that's over 9,000. Over 9,000 uh, awakenings that this person did. That is an insane amount of starry gems because technically, uh, if you want to then multiply that by 100, that means about 919,000 starry gems. But you got to remember you're retiring stuff. So even if you divide this by like 55%, uh, that's still, well, I didn't do that right. <laughs> oh, I definitely did not do that right. <laughs> Let's do that math one more time. <laughs> Divided by six, uh, times 100. Okay, divide, or multiply that by 0. 0.55, or even just 0. 0.45. That's 413,000 contract starry gems that they probably started with. However, chances are uh he had ziggy in his name at one point and ziggy is the person we talk about for the black market auction house all the time so if he did do it at that he essentially bought a hundred thousand starry gems worth because typically i mean if we want to divide it by 2500 we can multiply and then that's 165 multiply it by 25 because typically on the black market it's around 25 dollars per 2500 uh contract starry gems so he probably spent about four thousand dollars to get this right here which is is interesting interesting to say the least both of them probably spent about four thousand uh, thirty five hundred in that ballpark if they went all in on contract starry gems which is most likely what happened but my goodness i did not see the top 10 ever reaching this i thought even twenty thousand was probably going to be enough but people salivated at this event we've been waiting four months to get a soul awakening session and holy cow, people have been saving. And yeah, the downside of Reed's account, because we've been like slowly destroying it and everything, uh, we just didn't have the resources. We didn't have the saved up cores. I mean, heck, we didn't even have the saved up guild tech to regress and then go to the store and just buy hero copies with it. Like we couldn't even do that. 
that wasn't even an option because we already used them on treasure train tickets so we were just a little too ill prepared for how crazy people were going to be in this event now the one cool thing is at the very least we are getting an a plus awakening crystal awakening resonance crystal plus a plus so essentially this has like a one percent chance to high roll into an s SS or SSS copy so we could be lucky however this is going to get some orange streaks coming from the sky so now our decision is what to do with it because if you guys didn't know I've already have a S tier Vulcan I'll show you guys that at some point and I already got an A minus uh, Asmodel or e I think it was Asmodel that I got in the auction house so at this point it's almost like we need to just see who the best-selling hero copy is going to be and I feel like it might not even be Lord of Fear Aspen like I feel like it might be Patricia or Betty like there, there's a couple that could be good I mean then again Betty that's kind of a cheap Betty right there uh, I imagine we're gonna see something like this 54 3400 3100 um Aspen is probably still the best bet and I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get the Aspen we're gonna sell it unless for some reason Luna is insane the downside is I don't think we can get a single Luna copy on this account we have oh wait we can we can we, we we actually could get a Luna if we wanted uh and we could do that if the market for Luna is there. It's just so hard to tell if Luna is going to be usable hero. And then we have to grab, we'd have to grab one of these heroes over here from the relic shop and then replace it. So we could do an Aspen. We could do a couple different things here. And at the end of the day, I just don't know what the best options because we have Aspen copies. Um, yeah, I think the best bet is sell it. And then we're just going to transfer any proceeds in Starry Gems over to our main account to continue building the light army. Looks like we've actually got some auction house wins too. Yeah, so it looks like we did get that really solid Asmodel copy. Like really, really good for very inexpensive. Um, I'll take it because we did sell our old Vulcan for 18000 which was a pretty good roll and a pretty good price. And as you guys can see here, we did get an S tier for 95000 It was a pretty good price. It had a good roll on it. It was an A plus attack, sadly, but it was there. And now we still have more proceeds to then start hunting for our EOS copies. And in reality, I don't think we'll ever afford an S tier, but you never know. Something might go up dirt cheap. Uh, there's a bunch of copies up for like 7,000 here too. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think we're going 100k in on this hero whatsoever. But I wanted to get a giant killer of everything. Oh, hey, look, that actually might be a perfect copy. We might go for this one. We will see. I will start and we will come back to it. But yeah, we, uh, we're making some progress on the main account. And again, we could we can dump like 30 to 50,000 more starry gems. Maybe even more if it hits S tier. Uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, but that's where our awakening session went. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. A little disappointing, but I was not prepared for the insanity that the players were going to do after being starved of soul awakening sessions for an additional two months. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.